everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Something the matter, dear? <clears throat> yes, I can't remember if I sent a card to the rice crackers shop owner. As a relative of Sasaki San's, he should get one from me. Huh? You mean there's a chance you didn't? Mm, I don't remember. I see. That's why I tell you to make a note of the people who get one. I know. I just keep forgetting that. Uh, people take note so they don't forget. But you forgot to take a note of that itself. How forgetful you are. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, oh Maruko. It's your grandpa. He's getting really forgetful. I'm so forgetful now, I got a lecture from your grandma. Look, Grandma. Grandpa may be forgetful sometimes, but he wasn't forgetful today, was he? So it's unfair of you to lecture him. Maybe, but I've known your grandfather to be forgetful for a long time now. That's why I tell him to take notes of the things he has to remember. But he just forgets to make notes of my request, too. And it's so annoying. What? You mean he forgot to take a note not to forget? Mm. You deserve a lecture for that, Grandpa. Ah, yes, you're right. I absolutely deserve a lecture for that. So, what was it you forgot to take a note of anyway, Grandpa? Oh, the names of the people I sent New Year's cards to. Oh, you know, I don't take notes of that either, but I do remember most of them. Yes, I remember most of them too. But I just can't remember if I sent one to Sasaki-san's relative who owns a rice cracker shop over in Nagata. That's the problem here. Sasaki-san's relative who owns a rice cracker shop. You see, I received a very nice New Year's card from him, so it's okay if I mail one to him. But if I haven't mailed one, then I should do so immediately. That's true, yes. If you haven't sent one, then you should do so right now. Yes, but what if I've sent him one already? If that's the case, I'll be sending him another New Year's card. That'll make me look really bad. Mm. So he's gonna think, obviously, this person doesn't remember if he mailed a New Year's card to me. So to play it safe, he sent one more. Of course you look bad. <sighs> it would be easy if I were a relative or close friend. It's all right. Tomoso's like that. But this is no laughing matter now, is it? This is very important because it's Sasaki-san's relative. I can see it makes you uneasy. It may be odd, but because they're not close, it's important for Grandpa to be polite. And it isn't just that. Sasaki-san bought us the crackers that were sent by his relatives as a New Year's gift as well. Yeah, I remember that. So we got our New Year's gift. If we haven't mailed a New Year's card to Sasaki-san's relative, then we're being rude. Oh, no! What now? Oh. <laughs> 
So what if you haven't mailed out a New Year's card to him? It's no big deal. Look at me. I don't write a single card, do I? No, because I'm the one who writes them. Uh, uh... In truth, I'd be disappointed if I didn't get one in return. Oh, is that so? Yes, I guess it would be on my mind also. Hmm. It would upset me quite a bit. I'm so happy when I get one. I don't care. I wouldn't be upset at all. Plus, I don't read any of them, so... Well, that's rude. I... The people who send you cards are thinking about you and your well-being. I agree. And because you don't read the cards you get, I bet your year goes horribly. Be quiet! <gasps> I've had enough. You and the old man are making way too much noise over one greeting card. And it's really starting to annoy me. A million things can happen to someone during his or her life. So you'll never be happy if you get upset over such trivial matters. Whoa. Not you, though. Nothing special happens in your life. It's very ordinary. That's correct. Your life is very ordinary, so you should give importance to trivial matters, such as New Year's cards. I said oh. enough! Calm down, everybody. I don't care if Dad's life is ordinary or not, really. The point is that Grandpa's worried, so something has to be done. That is the point. Something must be done. Why don't you just call Grandpa Sasaki and ask? That'll put an end to the issue once and for all, don't you think? No, not sending another card would be better than calling and asking him. I say you don't send another card. There's no need to do that. If that family's the kind of family that gets upset over not receiving a New Year's card, then I say you don't need to keep in touch with such a family at all. Uh -oh. Wow, I didn't know Dad could be so sketchy. Uh -huh. I think we should send a card and a New Year's gift to go with it, too. You may be right. Okay, no more New Year's card talk. And forget about the New Year's gift as well. Another beverage, please. <laughs> So this issue is really giving your grandpa the jitters then, isn't it? Yeah, he's usually pretty carefree when it comes to stuff like this. I see, but this particular issue is bothering him. Hmm, see, since the end of last year, it seems he's gotten quite close to that family, and I'm guessing that's why. Yeah, if only he made a note not to forget. I know, then none of this would have happened. The man forgot to take a note not to forget. Who does something like that? If you ask me, I really don't think that he needs to worry. The gift you received from the Rice Cracker family could have been sent to you on a casual note rather than it being a New Year's gift. I guess so. And I agree with you. We don't need to be worrying about the New Year's card. It's not as if we're gonna stop being friends, right? Hey, guys! What's the beef? <laughs> What's your problem? I sent the both of you New Year's cards, but neither of you has bothered to reciprocate. Why is that? What? I sent one to you pretty much right after that. Yeah, I sent you a New Year's card, too. I mailed mine out to be delivered to you on New Year's Day, but you two decided to wait until you received one from me to respond. You were never thinking about me, were you? I can see why you think that, but... Yeah. You see, I didn't think you were going to send me a card, so... I guess because we're not so close, we weren't expecting cards from you. Uh-huh. So what? I thought about you and sent them out, but my well-being didn't cross your mind once. How horrible of you both. Whoa, it's that horrible, really? I have no clue. Next year, I'm not sending cards out to people who send me one on New Year's Day. Hmm. Huh. Huh. I'm surprised there are folks who actually get upset over New Year's cards. Uh-huh. Not everybody's like us. We should be more careful. So she didn't get a card from us until after New Year's. What reason does she have to get so upset about that? Mm-hmm. Either way, though, I'm happy I sent her a card right after that. Mm. Imagine if we hadn't sent her cards. She would have exploded, like kaboom. We, we could, could have been, been in much bigger, bigger trouble, trouble than, than we, we are now. now. I'm out. I've got some shopping to do. Oh, fine. Just be careful. Oh! It's Sasaki-san. What do I do? Should I just ask him outright? Has he heard from his relative whether the New Year's greeting card I sent to him has made it there or not? Oh, Sakura-san. Oh! 
Hi, <laughs> Sasaki-san. Thank you for the rice crackers you gave us on New Year's. They're very much appreciated. No problem. You know my relatives asked that I give you and your family their very best regards. Oh, right, I see. Please thank them for us. By the way, I just wanted... I mean, I... Well, it's about my New Year's card. Your New Year's card? Yes. Um, I was just wondering if my card was, uh... Yes. You don't have to worry about it anymore. The New Year's card you sent out was received on New Year's Day itself. Oh, good. Yes, and your haiku receives the highest compliments from me, too. It would appear you're rather good at them. Ah, uh, no, well... <laughs> What now? Did my card reach his relatives? It would be rude of me to ask him to inquire this of them. No, I can't do that. It's too rude. It's nice to receive a greeting card from someone, isn't it? Truth be told, it's a small thing, but it means a lot on New Year's Day, and it makes me happy. Tell me, you make it a point to send New Year's cards out to people you know, but do you get disappointed when someone doesn't do the same or respond? Sure, I'll get disappointed a little. Are you saying you don't feel the same way? Ah, uh, yes, of course I'll get disappointed. A New Year's card is no big deal, but I feel connected to the person because of the gesture. Right. All right, I've got a lot of work to do, so excuse me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hmm. The fact that I cannot remember whether I mailed a card to him or not is a bad thing. Hiroshi told us, don't make a big deal out of it. It's just a card. Just forget it. But I can't do it. I can't get my mind off it. Ah! I'm pretty sure I sent him a card, but then again, maybe I didn't. Try to remember. Rack that brain of yours, Tomozo. Did you send him a card or not? Come on, try your best to recall. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah! Uh, excuse me. Are you not feeling well or something, sir? Oh, oh no, I, I'm all right. No, no. I ask because it looked like you were in pain. I'm happy to walk with you back to your home if you need me to. I'm all right, please. There's no need, but thank you for the offer and sorry for the trouble I've caused. Well, okay. Take care of yourself now. Thank you. The smallest of gestures can make a person happy exactly what a New Year's card does. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> uh, it goes on. Tomozu continues to suffer. Second half, up next. Eh? Huh? He's still driving himself mad over a New Year's card? Right. He's still worried about whether he sent one out. Hmm. Today, I was out shopping and ran into Sasaki-san, and he said... It's nice to receive a greeting card from someone, isn't it? Truth be told, it's a small thing, but it means a lot on New Year's Day, and it makes me happy. You send cards out, but do you get disappointed when someone doesn't do the same or respond? Sure, I'll get disappointed a little. A New Year's card is no big deal, but I feel connected to the person because of the gesture. And then he walked away. I'm stuck, and I can't get it out of my mind. I really don't know what to do about this. Because old man Sasaki <laughs> feels this way doesn't mean his relatives feel the same. They might not care about it at all. Let it go. Trust me. You keep saying the New Year's cards are a small matter, but there are some who feel strongly. For example, Maeda-san at school. She was mad that my card didn't reach her on New Year's Day. Smoke out of her ears, mad! Next year, I'm not sending cards out to people who send me one on New Year's Day! Hmm. That's a bit extreme of her, wouldn't you say? Well, I would. People like that are annoying. No one gets that upset over not getting a greeting card on time. Is she human or is she a goat? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, Hiroshi. Nice one. You're in no position to laugh at anyone, Grandpa. Uh, you're right. I'm so sorry. Here's an idea. Instead of sending a New Year's card to him, why don't you send a letter over? Yes, that would work. You could even send a Yokan sweet bar as a New Year's gift in return for the rice crackers we got. 
It's perfect. You can also send a photograph of Maruko and Grandpa along with the letter and a sweet Yokan bar. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. You're so smart, really. Oh, I'm so lucky to have all of you around. Geniuses! Uh, I'm not sure what to think here. Am I supposed to be flattered by such open praise? Yes, <laughs> I'm with her. Uh, oh, why don't you ask Konami-san to take a nice photograph of you and Grandpa, Maruko? Yeah, good idea. What's more, I bet Tama-chan's dad will be excited about it. Sure. Konami household. Oh, good evening, Maru-chan. You want to speak with Tama-chan. Hold on, I'll get her. No, I'm not calling for her. I need to speak with you. What? Oh, I see. What is it? You need me to take a photograph, right? You got it. When you have time to spare, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a shot of me and Grandpa. Sure, no problem. Oh, how exciting. Actually, I have some time right now. What? Right now? No need. It's pretty late. You don't need to stress yourself. Hey, don't worry. It's no stress. I'm always ready when it comes to photography. Because that's me. I am Tommy's father. Uh, huh? He's, he's coming, coming here, here now? now? Yes. I told him he didn't have to do that, but he got so excited. So, a troublesome solution. Great. My goodness, we have to clean up around here. Well done. You could have told him that it's a little inconvenient to have him come over here right now. Easy for you to say. You try refusing someone when you're on the phone with him. Yes, I understand how that can be difficult. The only reason all this is happening is because you're stressing out over a New Year's card. You understand, right? You two, stop arguing and help me clean up. Eh? This is such a pain. Huh? Where are you headed off to, Dad? Hmm? I'm heading over to Maru-chan's house. What? What for? It's just she called and asked if I could take a photograph. And when it comes to photography, you know me. Let's go right now. What's that? She asked you to come over right away? Well, no. She said any time would be fine. But then I thought she was just saying that to be polite to me, so I insisted on going to her house immediately. Really, Dad? Going over right now might be a problem. It's quite late, you know. Come on, it isn't that late. It's only a little after 8. It's no problem. I'll see you later. Dad! Don't worry. Good evening! Thank you for coming. It's fine. I'm always available when it comes to photographs. Come on in. Everyone's waiting in the living room. Sure. Thank you. Let's go. Good evening! Good evening! Sorry to have troubled you. Please, it isn't any trouble at all. Okay, shall we get started? Maru-chan and Grandpa, correct? Yes, that is correct. Good. How about we take the first one in front of the TV set? Excuse me. Hmm? This doesn't need to be too artistic. Okay, got you. <laughs> right, and smile! <laughs> <laughs> Do you like this shutter, huh? It makes a nice sound. Only this brand makes a sound like that. Oh, is that right? It definitely sounds like something unique. It does, for sure. I'm so glad you can recognize that. Let's take a shot of the dad. Uh, there's no need, uh, really, I... You know what would be amazing? I should take a photo of all of you. How's that? Uh, there's no need. Thank you. What? Sure there is. Right. And cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll bring the pictures by as soon as they're developed. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was a big event, huh? Yes. But now, I can send that letter to Sasaki-san's relative and not feel guilty. Right, and then you'll finally be at ease, won't you, Grandpa? I'm sorry if I caused you guys any trouble. <sighs> you did cause us trouble. I mean, big trouble. Oh, stop it. I think we have held him accountable long enough. That's right. Just stop. Grandpa is quite delicate, unlike certain people I know. Know what I mean? That's correct. Like she said, I'm a barricade. <laughs> Actually, she said that you're delicate. Uh. 
several days later. Sakura-san, package for you. Hi. Here. Good day. Thanks, and to you. Oh, hey, it's from the rice cracker shop owner, Sasaki-san's relative. Come on, Grandpa, read it, read it quickly. Hmm, are you ready? Dear Tomoso Sakura, thank you very much for your sincere letter. And also for the lovely photograph of you and Maruko-chan. Thank you also for the delicious sweet yokan bar, which we all enjoyed immensely. We were very grateful for the gifts you've sent us. Oh, right! It seems the gifts and letter worked. They love them. I guess they did. We also received your New Year's card at the very beginning of the year. My family and I were very happy when we got it. Ah! <laughs> Grandpa, see? You did send one to him after all. Yes, I'm glad. I was so worried that I didn't. Oh. <laughs> now that it's clear, I can relax. I feel bad and also embarrassed. I sent only rice crackers through Sasaki-san to give you as a New Year's gift. I'm afraid that I completely forgot to send you a New Year's greeting card this year. Well, at least I'm not quite sure. If, if I, I sent you one, the, the thing, thing is, I was careless and didn't pen down the names of those I sent cards to. And that is why I'm unsure of whether I sent you one. Oh! <laughs> Amazing. The exact same thing that happened to you was happening to Sasaki-san's relative as well. Yeah, I guess he's going through the same problem. I'm terribly sorry to have to burden you with this most ridiculous confession, but if in fact I did not send a card to you this year, then please accept my apologies. I hope that you can forgive me and continue to remain in contact with this family. Ah. They think the same. These two would very much like to tell Sasaki-san that they hope he remains in touch with them despite their mistakes. <laughs>